Hello friends, Adam here with FED. So an FE4 remake seems to be the popular choice amongst fans recently. That's what everybody wants. It's what everyone's predicting for E3 and whatnot. I don't know where I stand on the whole predictions thing. It might happen, it might not. Would I like it? Probably. Would I prefer other games be remade at this point? Maybe. I don't know. I'm all over the place on it, but I know it seems I know that's what a lot of fans want. And it'd be cool. I'd play the crap out of it. Of, of course, I love Fire Emblem. That being said, I think there is one thing that an FE4 remake absolutely needs that I'm nervous they're going to change or remove that's in the original game. And that is the ranked system, how you get your ranks at the end of the game. So for those who don't know, uh, we're actually playing through it on the channel right now, attempting to get the perfect rank or the highest rank you can get. You have to finish the game in uh, under 400 turns with at least a thousand level ups and you can't have anyone permanently dead and you can only lose three battles throughout the entire playthrough which that's probably the scariest one because like one mistake means you know that's one tick off you have to reset and the game remembers you lose if you reset unless you start the chapter com over completely and if you've played fe4 you know those chapters are huge so that can seem kind of harsh or punishing but i think it's relatively uh fair uh because of the the low enemy quality of uh of f4 and you get a lot of powerful units especially gen 2. anyways i think that this ranking system is what makes fe4 interesting at this point uh sure there is some you know something to be said for the sandbox ish nature of it being able to create all these different pairings and inheritance is really fun and interesting to plan but uh beyond that the game is honestly kind of uninteresting in my opinion unless you're trying to go for these ranked requirements trying to get uh you know the, the thousand levels especially is a lot of fun to try and think about and work around uh where you're making sure to spam stabs you're giving kills to units you wouldn't normally and you're really forced to share gold in a way that uh, makes it so everyone can afford the paragon band as often as possible for arena ing and then maybe potentially during the map uh in some cases so these mechanics that are so uh, unique to FE4 being the unique, uh, being that everyone has their own pool of gold, every character, you don't share gold amongst the army. Uh, trading weapons and items is, you don't just, you can't freely do it, you have to do it through a pawn shop, through selling and buying and, and all that. Those mechanics are more of an annoyance slash hindrance to people who are just playing normally. I think that's how people see it in a lot of cases. But playing in a ranked run, I've really, even just playing through the first uh, few chapters, at this point I really see the fun in it, and having to micromanage your army uh, to make sure everyone has enough cash. And it's hard, I'm not doing the greatest at it, but it's also just kind of fun to think about and say, oh, well this person could arena now, or I could, you know, wait till the end of the chapter to arena to get them the, the Paragon Band or something. So that they have them visit a village or two. There's all sorts of things to think about like that. And it's a lot of fun. So that's what I think. I think an FE4 remake needs to keep the ranking system intact. I don't know if there's any changes I'd make to it. I might make a follow-up video to this after I finish uh, my ranked run. But for now, I think the requirements seem fair enough. And I think that they should stay. I think we need to keep these requirements. But anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. What is something that the FE4 remake absolutely needs to have? Absolutely needs to have for you to uh, be excited about it or for it to be a better experience for you personally. I'd be, I'd be interested to hear. I mean, outside of like, qual obviously quality of life things, I get that. We, we have to have the quality of life uh, that we've had in the recent games, being able to skip enemy turns. Being able to see where enemies are going to attack is gonna would be really nice too for FE4, just because I never know what that AI is gonna do. It's all crazy, wonky, weird stuff, man so the, the red lines but yeah just the quality of life features that's a given we want those but like what are other things maybe changes of the gameplay changes to characters do you want certain characters to be recruitable that aren't do you think the rank system needs to go is there a counter argument to that i'd love to hear that but yeah let me know and subscribe if you haven't like the video and yeah thanks for watching i'll catch you next time friends